your sheep, are they like purebred, bred and line crossbreed? Okay, basically uh, crossbred, we have purebred rams, but uh, uh, most of the ewes are, are crossbred, mainly because we're, we're raising lamb, we're not, and we're not in the purebred business, basically. We've basically got, uh, it's, a, it's a Suffolk, but it's a British Suffolk, not the, they're, they're short, short-legged kind of thing, uh, where as opposed to the normal Suffolks that have great big tall legs. Now there's some, we have some that are Dorset, and we have a few that are, are Clun Forest Dorset Cross, that, that one there, that very first one there with kind of speckles on her face, that, uh, she's a Clun Forest oh, okay. uh, Dorset Cross. And we got, I think there's about 10 of them, I think, all together. And uh, how old are the ewes when they're first available to breed? Uh, you can start breeding at about uh, 9, nine ten, 10 months anyhow. Uh, as, long, as long as the ewes, uh, uh, ewe lamb is well developed and uh, about 100 pounds, they're still going to grow, grow some even after they're bred. Eh? So uh, uh, normally, a lot of people keep them until they're until they are yours. Uh, but I always I always try to they all won't get pregnant the first time, but even if half of them get pregnant the first time, so you you'll get you'll probably only get a single lamb, but that's okay too. Now you said uh, an ideal preg rate for the first try is eighty five to ninety. On um, what are you achieving that on this farm? Uh yeah, basic basically we're we're achieving uh, about 80, 80 to ninety ninety percent uh uh by uh, by putting a ram in or two rams in at a, at, at a time, and then two weeks later we switch to an, to another ram, just in just in case uh, you know some of you didn't like that ram, so so they might like somebody else better kind of thing. So, how many tries do you give them before uh, they're shipped out? Well, we normally normally three three times if they don't get pregnant. Uh, uh, on the third time they're, they're gone. Uh, we keep uh, most of the ewes um, about four years, four to five years. And, and if they're still still producing twins, then we'll keep, them, keep, keep them probably for another time. But then they'll go sooner if they get mastitis or had some kind of disease problem or something that, that uh, we just don't want to keep them around any longer. What's the average gestation period for sheep? Well, gestation period is uh, five months, less a week as, as a rule. Is there a special feed or anything that you use to bring all you use into heat all at once, or do they just come into heat? We don't uh, feed anything uh, to bring them in, bring them into heat. We just use the natural method. Is uh, the ram with the herd year round, or is it is it only during breeding? No, we only put the rams in during during breeding breeding time. Uh, if you leave the ram in all the time, well then ewes are going to come into heat. Uh, let's say, hey, I'm going to call it higgly piggly kind of thing because they're, some are going to come in into heat earlier than others, and you're going to have lambs. You won't know when uh, when you got uh, lambs coming. Basically, I like to have a whole bunch of them coming in all at the same time, so I so I don't have to stay up all night all year round. <laughs> Um, do you uh, use breeding markers on? Uh, yeah, I use I use uh, a marker on the ram so that I know know what's going on when I uh, put them in, put the ram in uh, with the ewes, and uh, uh, if everybody gets marked, I I hope that everybody is bred. But then I will put uh, another ram in uh, a couple of weeks later with a different color marker on, and then. Uh, uh, we'll see whether anybody gets bred or not, and we'll, uh, hopefully know that way whether they are bred or not. Um, is it necessary to keep records on which ram has bred which ewe? Uh, we like to keep, keep as good a record as we can uh, that way, but I try to keep one group together that has been bred by uh, that ram, so I, I pretty well know uh, then uh, which ram those lambs came out of so that I know uh, a little bit about the parentage of them. So, and, and the Dorset ram I've got, of course, uh, he's going to have, all his lambs are going to come more white, or, or a lot of white on them, and they're not going to have any black faces, that's for sure. So. Have you found the amount of daylight um, affects the breedability? 
Uh, daylight does affect uh, the breeding uh, uh, cycle to, to a certain degree. We haven't induced any, done any uh, work with uh, light, uh, exposure to light uh, here at all, but uh, the amount of hours of, of light that they are exposed to does, does affect the breeding somewhat. Yeah. How many years um, is, is a ram good for? Yeah, well, you, we usually keep ours uh, four or five years. Uh, uh, usually, usually by that time they're getting uh, a lot bigger, eh? and uh, it's, uh, uh, and, and by that point in time they're usually a lot more rammy too. Eh? Like they, that's why they're called a ram, eh? because they, they, they can get more, they get more meaner as they get older, as a lot of them do anyhow. And, and that's half the reason sometimes you get rid of them. That they, uh, they're just too rough with the with the use a lot of, in a lot of cases. Eh? And if they get too big and heavy, well, it's that much uh, more for the ewe to support too when, they, when they're breeding. What's an ideal ewe to ram ratio? We we put a ram in with uh, 25 to 30 30 ewes at a time. Eh? Uh, that's uh, most most rams can ha handle that many. No, there's a lot, a lot of people that'll that'll put more more rams in uh, with the ewes, and that, then they really don't know for sure unless they're using different colored markers who who's breeding who kind of thing, eh? But uh, uh, that in in some ways it uh, I guess you're more sure maybe that you're you are going to get them bred maybe, but in a lot of cases uh, rams tend to fight with each other when user and heat so uh, if you put two rams in they they're always fighting all the time so you got to put three rams in so two fight and one's going to go and do his business so how long does it usually take to get all used bread if the rams are performing properly well here it takes about because I I just breed a few at a time uh, but it's usually over a three month month period here uh, now, in a lot of cases, it uh, would be would be less than that if you if you put all the rams in with all of the ewes at the same time, then uh, presumably you would get uh, everything bred a lot sooner doing it that way. I'd like to not have everything coming in all at the same time, so I don't have my lambs all ready to go to market at, basically at the same time. Uh, a lot of people. Uh, breed is specifically for the Easter market and I really don't worry about the Easter market so much anymore because everybody's worried about Easter market and a lot of times we have so many lambs on the market then down goes the price eh? so so uh, uh, that's why I'm more more stuck with the heavy lambs and and there are more times that they want heavy lambs than uh, there are light lambs we only lamb once a year here um, other people that uh, they uh, uh, lamb uh, more times, like there's a three uh, a system where you can lamb three times in two years, and then there's also a five star system where you lamb uh, five times in three years. And that's very uh, very intensive. You have to uh, induce the ewes to to come into heat uh, because Suffolk. Uh, they they don't they only come into heat sort of between September and uh, uh, February kind of thing end of January basically. <laughs>